Then we continue to talk about this mixing function. The mixing control function is to let CHE and CHR simultaneously control two motors to move forward and backward or differential steering. This function is required for many products such as we often say agricultural machinery such as lawnmowers and remote control car, remote control boat, remote control tank and two-way aircraft will use this function. Including the often asked differential, differential needs to turn on the mixing function before it can be used. Let's take a look at the situation without mixing and with mixing turned on. In what is the specific difference on this machine? Let's first look at the operation and reaction without mixing control. CHE turn left, turn right, CHR advance. Step back. It can be seen that CHE can only operate the servo of CHE. CHR can only operate the servo of CHR. There is no way for two channels to operate together. Then we turn on the mixing control. First shut it down. Hold down CH sign and don't let go. Turn on the remote control at the same time. Here it rip and let go. You can see that the indicator light on the panel lights up. That is the mixing setting is completed. Then let's see its response. CHE turn left. You can see that the servos of the two channels start to operate at the same time. Turning CHE to the right has the same response. Then I'll CHR to the front. Both servos turn to the right. Toggle down. The servos move to the left at the same time. You can see the difference between turning on and off mixing control. Okay, after talking about the mix control, let's talk about the lock function. What does the lock function do? It is to prevent the set parameters from being messed up. Then it's hard to adjust back. For lock out settings by CHE and CHR, fine tuning buttons and stroke a mountain up. I personally find this feature very useful. For example, when debugging is complete, you don't need its parameters to change, or that you don't want to be messed with. You can turn on the lock function, lock this parameter for him. Let's talk directly about his setup method. Turn off the remote control first. Hold down CH4 and don't let go. Turn on the remote control at the same time. Here it rip and let go. You can see that the indicator light on the panel lights up. Indicates that the setup is complete. After setting, we adjust the stroke command. Let's take a look at his reaction. The current stroke command of CHR is 100. You can see the reaction of the steering gear. We adjust this knob of CHR. I am now adjusting this knob to a value of 0. Okay, let's move CHR again. It can be seen that the second channel still maintains 100 of the stroke. This is our locked function. He is to keep the value you debugged before after setting it up.